Shalom. Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shum, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakaryam, Shahoya Sharala, double honest to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, to the old elect and to the elect lady. You know, Lord willing, this is Yahweh right this is edifying real quick. This is going to be a quick hit to the spirit. Um, this is IUIC right here. Um, and um, you're going to listen to the man, you know. As the title goes, it says Hebrew is a language. Israel is a nationality. All right. So, <sighs> see, the thing is, is that we were call Israelites. But what we would call Israelites because Jacob, he's going to go on saying Jacob became Israel, which is true. And we're going to get the scriptures. But what, but, what, but what was we referred to before Jacob, before he, we were called Israelites? We were called the sons of God, of course, right? In the book of Genesis. Then later down the line, we were called what? Hebrews. So, yeah, we are Hebrew Israelites. All right, because even Abraham was called a Hebrew before he was an Israelite. Seth, in the spirit, Seth, Noah, Abraham, you know, Isaac. They were all called, they were all Israelites in the spirit. They were all sons of God. They were all Hebrews. So it's not no Hebrew Israelites, you know. I mean, that's what he said. It's no Israel Hebrewites. And you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, this is not a, a hate campaign against camps. It's that we're here to defend the scriptures. We're here to defend. We're here to defend the gospel through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, and to give edification to those brothers and sisters out there that are want that are that are want to learn and not be regurgitators like this guy. Cause yeah, he's in the spirit. Well, let me take that back. He's he has the zeal of the spirit, but a lot of these men from your IUIC, a lot of them, you know, they regurgitate of what they're being taught at the IUIC, you know. And then this script and this um in this walk, you know, we have to do our our, our due diligence. To do, to study, to show thyself approved, and to do your own research, as the scriptures say, uh, 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 like the Church of Berea, search the scriptures daily. You know, so we have our teachers, but we also do our own studies and research. And there's times like Apostle Tahar would say, you know, uh, they've learned things from certain other brothers and elders. You know. So we all learn from one another, but, you know, it comes with what? Studying to show thyself approved. But a lot of these camps, they followers, they just going by what they're taught and that's it. They really don't go into the scriptures. They don't try to do their own research. It's what they, it's like, it's almost like a, um, how, how can I say? It's almost like a, like, it's like it's programmed, you know, it's just like, a, a, a program um, course. It's almost like they treating her like a, a course. You know, you go to college or you go to school, you take a course, you know, and there's like a, a, a specific curriculum you got to go by and you got to be taught and you got to be learned that specific curriculum, what the teacher is teaching you, you know. So that's what it seems to most of these um, different camps, you know. They have like a course, a program they have to follow rather than going into the scriptures through the spirit, praying, meditating, asking the Lord to guide them, you know, searching the scriptures. So let's go. I don't want to keep talking. It says Israel. Israel is a nation of people, the Israelites. It's not a religion. A lot of people pass and see us in purple and go, oh, there you go, the Hebrew Israelites. There's no such thing as Hebrew Israelites. It's the Israelites. That's right. The people, Israel, descend from a man called Jacob. Is his name Jacob? He have his name changed to Israel. His son and this is um this is downtown Noah. We're right around the corner from them. You know, this is Noah. This is, we're we're right around the corner from them. 
He had 12 sons. 12 sons become 12 tribes. So they call the Israelites. You understand? So when they say you are an Israelite, you show that you descend from this man called Jacob who named him to, 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 to Israel. You understand? So when people see the Israelites as a religion, we ain't no religion. That's we ain't up here for no religion. Right. We had to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who, That's who right. is your so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American? Right. Who? No, you know, we're not. No. Because it's all about the elect. It's not about waking up the nation of Israel. And that's another thing that these other camps do. They, they're they looking for the whole nation. They're trying to wake up everybody that walks by. Now, do we teach? If, they, if people would inquire, we're going to teach. You know? But we know that it's all about the elect. And we're praying that we'll be part of that number as well. So it's not about the nation of Israel. See, this is the... Uh, this is the perception that these camps have. They feel like they got to wake up the nation of Israel. No, you're not going to be able to wake up the nation of Israel. Two-thirds are going to perish. <clears throat> now, overall, we're supposed to teach to the house of Israel. We're supposed to go out to the highways and byways and teach the house of Israel. But we understand, based in scriptures, that only the elect are going to listen. Only the elect are going to hearken. So let's go. You know, um, this is uh, <clears throat> Genesis 14 and 13. And it says, and there came one that had escaped and told Abram, Abraham before he was called Abraham, Abram, the Hebrew. See that? Abram, the Hebrew. For he dwelt in the plain of Mam Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshkor, and brother of Anar, and these were confederate with Abram. So we see here that Abram was called a Hebrew. He was a son of God. So why would you go into the story of Genesis 6? The sons of God were Israelites before they were called Israelites. They were called Hebrews, just like Abraham was called the Hebrew. All right? So... Let me get something real quick. Genesis 14 and 13. Let's go here real quick. <clears throat> I already had it queued up. Genesis 14 and 13. And it says, uh, Ebri, Eber, which comes with the, a bar. Strong's H, 5680. Evri, Evri. <clears throat> a bar, right? And this is what we come from, from a man named Abar which is one of the sons of God coming from the lineage of Shem. Now, you have different nations that come that are Shemitic, you know, like the Ishmaelites, the Elamites, you know. Um, they are all Shemitic, but there's a chosen sea line, you know, a special sea line that comes from the Shemitic line, which will be the sons of God, which will be Seth, Peleg, you know, Eber, Abar, you know, those men. And that's where the uh, royal sea line comes from. This is where the Israelites come from. All right. So all of these nations that you see today, they were they had their names. When we go to Genesis 10, you know, the tables of nations, you know, one from beyond. But what did it say? Is it a destination of the partridge and the Israelites? So what is this man talking about? So a bar Hebrew, you see, a designation of the partridge and the Israelites. See that? But this is a bar. This is Hebrew. This is way before Jacob was even born and then wrestled with the angel, you know, and his name was changed into Israel, which in the Hebrew is Yah Sharala. Yah He Shar is prince. Allah is power. He princes of the power. We are the princes of the power. We are the sons of God. We come, we are uh, our spiritual offsprings from the heavenly father, the creator of all things. So what is he talking about? All right, let's go further more real quick. First Corinthians, let's go there. You know, I'm going to make this quick because I'm at work. First Corinthians 1 and um, 34. And Abraham beget Isaac the son of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. So we see here that is Jacob is called Israel, right? 
because Genesis 32, this is different um, translation, 32, 28, uh, NIV, then the man said, your name would no longer be Jacob, but Israel, see, because you have struggled with the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, and with humans and have overcome, see, King James Bible, and he said, thy name should be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince, see, prince, Yasharala, Shar, Shar means prince, has thou power, power, Allah, with the Most High and with men, and has prevailed, see? So, you know, this man doesn't know what he's talking about, you know? I mean, he has the zeal, but he doesn't know what he's talking about, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we are... Uh, the Hebrew Israelites. Now, the language of Hebrew is also interchangeable, you know, because that's our language, the Hebrew language. So the word is interchangeable. So this is when study, studiness comes in. Uh, you brothers need to study. This is just to show you this is what uh, it's all about. Study these scriptures, man. You know? Let's go what he said here at the end. Hold on. So when people see the Israelites as a religion, we ain't no religion. Well, we we somewhat are we do somewhat have a religion. Religion just means to be bound and um to be bound by rules. We we've been given rules. We've been given the law, statutes, and commandments. Now do we treat this truth as a religion like the so-called pastors and Christians and Muslims? No. You know, let's get that real quick. I hate my phone. It's, it's just be getting stuck, man. You know, I hate that. Uh, Acts 21 and 20. Let's get that real quick. <clears throat> let's go to the New Testament. Acts 21 and 20. And it reads, all right. And when they heard it, <clears throat> they glorified the Lord Yahweh and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are, there, there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law, and they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews. See, this is only for the Israelites, are are among the Gentiles to forsake my Shah, saying that they are not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after their customs. All right, now, let me see something. Acts 7, zealous of the law, the Jews' religion. All right, I mean, that's a good scripture, but what I want is really this. Let me get back to it. <clears throat> My phone is slow. I'm sorry, just bear with me. Bear with me, brothers. Bear with me, all right? All right, bear with me. Okay, this is good. James 1.26, let's get that real quick, and I'll, I'm going to finish because I got to get back to this this goddamn plantation, man. All right, James 1.26, if any man among you seem to be religious and brighter if not his tongue, but deceive his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before the Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. See? So our pure religion is to what? What it is? To do the work. To visit the fatherless. What are the, who are the fatherless? Who are those that don't have uh, the heavenly father that are lost? You know, the scripture talks about uh, the comforter. The scripture said not leave us comfortless. To be adopted, orphanos, the Greek word orphanos, to be adopted back to the Father. The elect are lost, but they are being found now. See, the men of the Lord had lost their way, but now we at the time where you're seeing the manifestations of the sons of God being gathered together by the Holy One of Israel, Baruch 5 and 5. That's on Baruch 5 and 5. And you're being gathered together. So you're being adopted back to the fold, Romans 9. To visit the fathers and widows in their affliction, to keep himself unspotted from the world. That's our pure religion. So when uh, technically, when you want to talk about the religion, yes, that's just, we do. But that's just to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahshah with all our heart. All right, let's get um, Galatians. Um, 
1, 13, and 14. Let's get that real quick through the spell of your heart by Shimei Shai. <clears throat> Galatians chapter 1 and 13 and 14. Let me make sure that's right. All right. And we're going to get that Greek word too. Threskia, worship, tremble, fear, and worshiping. All right. So Galatians 1, 13. For you have heard of my conversation in the time past in the Jews' religion. See that? How that beyond measure I persecuted the church of the Most High Yahweh and wasted it and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the tradition of my fathers. You see? All right? So, yeah, we do have a religion, technically, spiritually, to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know? completely to meditate day in and out like joshua said joshua 1 and 8 you know meditate day in and out right so this word right here uh greek 2356 threskia as you see it means to religious worship see religious which consists of ceremonies you know we have our rituals we have our um, feast days we have our holy days Discipline, see, which brothers don't want. Correction is grievous to many in Israel. Religious discipline, religion, right? Going to the root word, threats goes, all right? Fearing or worshiping the Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. You see that? All right? See that? All right? Let's get that real quick. All right, let's go back to James, and I'll finish it there, man. Just want to give you some edifying, you know. If any man among you seem to be religious and bright or not his tongue, but decide, deceive his own heart, this man religion is vain, pure religion is undefiled before the Most High. And the Father is this, to visit the fathers and widows in their flint to keep himself unspotted from the world. All right, let's go. Let me see something. All right, that's that. The Greek word, 2356. Let's go, let's go. Bear with me, brothers. Here we go. Religion. See it? Okay, let's go to it. <clears throat> Strong's G, 2356. Threskaya. Threskaya. Right? So we see it means uh, to religious worship. See? External, which consists of ceremonies, uh, holy days and feast days, you know, our law statues, discipline, religious. See? That's all it means to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahshah with all your heart, man, with all your might. That's our religion. All right. So this man is off. We do have technically spiritual religion. So this man is off. You know, let's go back. No, what? Oh, hell no. You don't get no, no, no light for that. My bad for that. Let's go back. You show that you descend from this man called Jacob who named James to, 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 to Israel. You understand? So, when people see the Israelites as a religion, we ain't no religion. That's we ain't up here for no religion. Right. We 